Ever think about how crazy complicated it is to build a car? This is Volkswagen's assembly line. In this video, we're installing the headlights, crash bar, power systems, radiator, and bumper. First up, the rear crash bar. We plug in the keyless entry harness, then snap in the wiring one at a time. A Bosch electric driver pre-tightens two bolts on the right and three on the left. Just snug for now. Final torque comes later with a Swedish Atlas Copco wrench. Now comes the fuel control module. It manages how fuel gets stored and delivered. When you pump gas, it handles venting, seals the cap, and stops fuel from shutting off too early. Next is the expansion tank. It connects to coolant lines and the high-pressure fuel line. Its job? Stabilize coolant levels as temps rise and fall, and keep engine pressure in check. If the coolant turns yellow, that's a sign. Time to replace it before pressure gets off balance. That tool we're using? A hose clamp remover. If you're in the auto game, it's worth having. It's safe, easy, and prevents clips from snapping loose and hitting someone. Now, we're hooking up the negative battery cable, the black one. It's grounded to the frame or engine block. If this connection is loose or corroded, the car might not even start. We connect the front wiring harness and plug in the ECU. This thing controls fuel injection, ignition timing, emissions, and cooling. In automatics, it also manages gear shifts for a smooth drive. Time to torque down the crash bar bolts for real. Earlier was just a pre-fit. Now we use a top-tier electric torque gun from Atlas Copco. It's way more precise than air tools. Each bolt's torque data is logged in the cloud for 15 years for inspections or tracking quality issues. Here, we're plugging in the TCU antenna. It handles GPS, mobile data, and driver assist features. Next up, the battery. This one's factory installed and lasts seven to eight years. After market ones, you might get two or three. Always match the model. If your car has stop-start, make sure your new battery is built for it. Don't downgrade specs. It causes headaches. Now for the purge pump. It's part of VW's emissions tech. Fuel vapors get filtered through charcoal, then pulled into the intake and burned off at low speeds. When the engine's under boost, an electric pump kicks in and sends those vapors to the turbo. Keeps fumes out of the air. We're installing the air intake pipe now. Ever wonder what those two wires clipped to it do? That white tank? That's the washer fluid reservoir. When you hit the sprayers, fluid comes from here. We bolt it down and plug in the pump wires. Next, we mount the front frame assembly. Two techs use robotic arms to align it with the front end. A few bolts later, it's secured. We'll wire up more stuff when the headlights go in. Let's do the headlights. First, we attach the left and right brackets. To avoid scratching the lenses, the drill heads are wrapped in sleeves. We also install the hood release cable. Factory headlights are made to fit perfectly, so this goes fast. We connect the wires and bolt them down. They'll be calibrated later. Next is the rear bumper bracket. The bumper locks right onto it, which is bolted to the crash bar. We also add a pressure relief vent. This lets excess air out when you slam the door or turn on the AC. Now we build the fuel door. First the lock goes in, then the label. Most newer Volkswagens can take both 92 and 95 octane, but 95's ideal. Still 92 won't hurt it. Now for the horns. Volkswagen uses spiral flow horns. They sound cleaner because airflow helps shape the sound. Inside, air swirls around to amplify the tone. This foam block we add? It's crash absorption. 
helps keep passengers safe in a rear-end collision. Time to pop in the rear bumper. Factory bumpers are super precise. Once clips line up, it just clicks into place. Even gaps show solid quality. Aftermarket parts? Usually not as clean. They cut corners on molds and materials. Next up is soundproofing and carpeting inside the cabin. Then comes the front bumper. If you're curious how bumpers are made, check out the full video we cover that whole process. Now we install the wheel well liners, front and back. The liners made by Condorcet are made instantly. Behind the VW badge is a millimeter wave radar. It's the brain for assisted driving features. Ever wonder why that badge costs so much? Now you know. Finally, we mount the upper grille cover, run in a few screws, and the car is ready to roll to the next stage of assembly. Hit follow and catch us in the next episode.